Oh, hey there. So the first time that I went to Israel, we had been there roughly 12 days, and then we our bus drove into Jerusalem. And when it did, uh, we stopped. It was starting to get close to evening time. We were up on the Mount of Olives. And then if you've ever been to Israel, you know that from the Mount of Olives, you look down and there's kind of a valley and um, that is where Gethsemane is. And so we walked down there and our guide, who I have tremendous respect for, and I have so many stories about him. Uh, he said, as he looked down and, and the sun was setting and he looked down and he said, this is Gethsemane. This is where Jesus wept and where he sweat drops of blood because he was feeling the weight of all of our sin and what was about to have to happen to him. And he asked that the disciples would pray with him and you know they fell asleep and then they fell asleep again and then finally they came to take him away to be crucified. So while we were standing in that place then there was a the path that he took over to Golgotha to be crucified and our guide said he said, I'm not a special person, which was not true. He was a very special person. I say you can tell somebody's not that they are a special person because they tell you they're not. Anyway, he said, I'm not a special person. I'm not amazing. I don't do miracles and signs and have dreams and whatnot. But I did have this vision in my mind. And he said, I saw Jesus walking this path to be crucified. And he had been beaten already. He had a crown of thorns on him. He was bloody. And he was carrying his cross and he fell. And then he looked down at the ground with his hair in his face and blood dripping off of him, beaten and exhausted, and said, I can't get up. There's nothing left in the tank. I'm done. I can't possibly get up. And then he said, but then he saw a face. And it was my face. And then he said, I have to get up because if I don't, Stan will not make it. It took my breath away when he said that. And he looked around at all of us and he said, don't think I'm special. He saw your face too. That's why he got up again. That's why he got up again to go and be crucified, even though he was completely worn out and exhausted and beaten because he loved you that much. And hearing him say that where it actually happened um, was powerful. So don't forget that because he saw your face too. I love you guys.